today I decided to come down to the flea market and hang out during the daytime early and then make my way over to the Cartagena Real Soccer Stadium. I've never been to this stadium. I have a, a basic idea of where it's at. And uh, she's from Venezuela, so she's never been here either. But we're going to try to make this journey from Barrio Chino in Mercado Bezuto to the Cartagena Real Soccer Stadium. She's actually trying to look up the directions to the stadium in her phone. Once we arrived down at the stadium that we thought was the correct location for the game, we realized that they had multiple sports complexes here. It's actually a pretty nice um, setup that they have going on and you can actually see all kinds. It's like an Olympic style uh, complex here with soccer stadiums outside, uh, tennis courts, basketball courts and all kinds of other things and I think they have two or three major Coliseum style stadiums down here so it's easy to get lost. The beautiful Coliseum that you see in the background, I believe, is where they used to have the bullfighting at. They no longer do it because of the animal cruelty situation, but if I'm not mistaken, that's actually where they used to have the bullfighting competitions at in Cartagena. This is kind of the best case scenario in this situation because I would have never been able to find this place without her. And for some reason she understands most of my terrible Spanish or at least she's doing a good job of acting like she does. Okay, cool. She actually managed to figure out how to get the tickets. We got the tickets now. They were 90,000 Colombian pesos, which is about $23. Now we have to find the entrance to the stadium. The game itself is not the big games like Colombia versus Brazil or Colombia versus Argentina or something like that. It's actually Cartagena Real versus Medellin. But this will be my first time seeing the inside of a professional soccer stadium in Colombia. She was trying to show me this video earlier. I guess the bullfighting coliseum that we saw reminded her of this activity that goes on in her hometown in Venezuela that she says is very popular and there's a lot of money involved in it. Looks like it's some sort of uh, bull wrestling or something like that. The same concept. Mucho dinero. Mucho dinero. Los premios. Los premios. 
Mucho dinero. ¿No tienes el premio? Eh, el ganador. Oh, okay. oh, Mucho ¿sí? dinero, sí. This is the actual entrance to the stadium. You have to come through security. They took my belt. They made me take my belt off and I left it outside. I know it won't be there when I get back out. That's one of the rules of this stadium itself. I don't know how the other stadiums are in Colombia. Now, I didn't know how to say popcorn, so I just asked her if she wants some corn. And that seemed to be uh, kind of funny to her because I guess the way you say popcorn is something completely different. Palomita. Hola, palomita. Okay. Palomita. <laughs> palomita. 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 Es maíz. Uh -huh. ¿Cuánto es, chicas? Cuatro mil. Cuatro mil. Palomitas. Palomitas de maíz. Palomitas de maíz. De maíz. De maíz. Uh, Palomitas de maíz. I'm trying to pronounce Tinto, which is a type of coffee that they like to drink. But with my accent, they can't seem to understand what I'm trying to say. But we'll figure it out. We'll get it right soon. Tinto, 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 surprised to see that this was kind of a kids event actually I don't know if this game has any kind of significance as far as a playoff entry or anything like that but the players actually brought the kids out before the game for the pregame uh, national anthem and all that and these ladies that you see are video taping their kids going out before the games and they got them dressed up in uniforms they might be like a little league soccer team and actually they play games and stuff like that so it's really kind of a cool event wasn't many people there but just to see the children playing soccer they start them out at an early age and some of those kids seem to be really good at seven or eight years old maybe even younger but it was really a good experience and i'm actually glad i, I took the time and spent a whole day to come and do this now she's laughing because she thinks it's funny. I'm telling her, I know my belt's gone. Somebody stole it off the fence. I wrapped it up around the fence and, and hoped that it would be there. So now I'm, I'm walking around with my belt.